Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. This pick a card reading is what you need to know about your current situation. So as always we've got our three piles here, group one is on the left, two is in the middle and three is on the right. The timestamps will be in the description box below along with the cards that I'm using and if you'd like a private reading with me you can contact me on my Facebook page which there is a link for that below as well. I hope you enjoy your reading. Hello group one and welcome to your reading if you chose the Tangerine Sun Aura Quartz then this one is for you. So we are looking at what you need to hear from spirit. So this is just a moving ahead spread. Some things that you might need to know with whatever situation you find yourself in at the moment. So the underlying energy for this reading was the 10 of Wands. And as I lifted that I see the Eight of Cups. And the ace of cups underneath that as well the sun it all speaks to what i see in this reading so we're potentially walking away from a situation that has not benefited you any longer it's time to move on for whatever reason maybe it's that you have um maybe there's just a bit too much struggle or a bit too much burden connected to this situation you've had to remove yourself from it we'll get into the cards though so this is the first steps in moving ahead we've got the tower the wheel of fortune and the six of swords interesting <laughs> three massive cards of change of release destruction maybe even painful chaos and things that are outside of your control maybe something's ended that hasn't been your choice um, but it's inspired you, I feel, it's inspired or it will inspire a great change inside of you. You may not be there yet. Everyone connecting to this may be at a different part in the journey a little. Um, this tower moment could be very fresh for you. Other people, it could be that this happened a while ago and you're still moving through the process of releasing the situation and moving forward. And with the Wheel of Fortune here it's and the tower, it can really indicate that this is something that's been out of your hands about out of your control you haven't really like this has happened for you and I've, you may or may not be aware of that yet um but yeah the, your next step in moving forward is to embrace these changes this point in the journey that you're at allowing this destruction to um to happen to have its way with you if if that's a mindset you've got which i do feel for a lot of people a perception you may have that um, is being obliterated maybe it's a lifestyle or uh, some personal choices that you or a template you were operating on that's just no longer working for you anymore and uh, maybe it's it's holding you back the underlying energy with that ten of wands it, it indicates having a lot of attachment to this situation and being really like uh, overwhelmed with the situation really overwhelmed and the six of swords is the advice to work move through this process um, and leaving behind the baggage as you go so it's a healing journey it's a process that takes some time but you are moving away from chaotic energy into something a lot calmer you are being guided to, towards this change towards this new path new work new lifestyle new way of treating self all of it um, it's happening changes upon you so what may be holding you back in this at this time we've got the king of wands reverse and the four of cups so i feel like it's a bit of stagnancy for some people maybe not really having a, too much um vision for the future yet because you've still maybe caught up in this in this past or still releasing the past it's kind of hard to you know make big plans for the future sometimes when you're still in a process of releasing the past and reflection and all of that energy so there's it's, i feel like a pretty big disappointment here as well you could be feeling really victimized by somebody else maybe or someone's choice or a failed relationship or unmet expectation or needs unrequited something feeling like you have not had your needs met in an area it's just not worked for you and there's this energy as well where you've maybe telling yourself or feeling like you have to start again and or that you've been put back at square one that may be something you're telling yourself and that's that's not true it's an opportunity to really then you know unplug from whatever you may have been investing in that wasn't worthy of your energy and time anymore for whatever reason it wasn't serving you um you maybe have been serving it whatever that was where did that card go <laughs> i've lost it now that eight of cups anyway that we saw before it, it you may have been serving that situation for a lot longer than it was serving you or it just come to a point where it wasn't beneficial anymore 
But this opportunity, so you, what may be holding you back is maybe some pessimism or just, you know, really focusing on what hasn't worked out and, and not really, not really ready to look at the future yet. There could be a lot of disappointment that you're still feeling. But the minute you do turn your head, you will see this potion is here. There's an, a golden opportunity waiting for you. And uh, something, it could be study, it could be a new job, new lifestyle choices, whatever it is that builds your bigger picture it's like a reinvestment you're pulling out your old investments no, no more and you're reinvesting in yourself and what you want to do that's going to bring about long-term success we're looking at the bigger picture now we're not looking at instant gratification and we're certainly not certainly trying to unplug from what we thought our future might look like as well releasing some of that expectation too and, and disappointment wrapped up in in yeah in all of that So yeah, I feel like what might be holding you back is not quite seeing all of the opportunities that actually are available to you at the moment for, for healing or trying new things to, towards growth or learning new things, um, upskilling, whatever it is. Okay, so some further guidance with moving forward. We have seven of wands and the five of swords. So you could have other people that you're up against at the moment. These wands can definitely indicate challenges or challenging people. Five of Swords is a hollow victory energy. It can be often walking away from something without having closure or the answers or just feeling like the whole situation was totally unfair. That, that could very well be caught up in this. You're just needing to liberate yourself and rise up past these challenges or these challenge could, challenges can also be your own thoughts of self and self-doubt or fears about things that are not going to happen or fears about things that are going to happen. It, it, you could be really trying to liberate yourself out of your own um, density and, and, and um, or somebody else's but yeah we've got a bit more energy here with guidance we've I love the way these came out because look at this growth here we've got the four of Pentacles this is a foundation it's making sacrifices sometimes it's protecting your energy it's protecting your power protecting your finances it's finding security in um, routine and practicality and just a little bit of minimalist lifestyle maybe if that's what you need at the moment to just sort of rein it in and keep your energy for yourself and the more simple things is to simplify um, carried on like this these these beautiful plans and little simple things that you may be doing to gather your strength back again um, is carried on into this this journey this slow moving journey where you are planting seeds along the way and um, it all starts with you next card we've got more energy of this nurturing all pentacles here look at this this is this is a very grounded and practical approach it's applying the wisdom that you've got to to move forward a very one step at a time there's no grand rush here um, but it's beautiful gentle energy that's working on again pulling pulling that energy that may be focused on other people or situations pulling it back into you and what you're what you're trying to create what you're trying to work on what you're trying to heal what you're trying to grow and then the next card is the Queen of Pentacles, right? So can you see the progression here? It's slow moving. Um, and maybe sometimes it's lonely. Maybe sometimes it's like, is anything happening at all? This is really slow, really quiet. Maybe that's it, but it is. Trust, do trust and keep showing up. Keep showing up, keep trusting. And look at this as well. <clears throat> see this? This headache, this could be a literal character you deal with. This could be your own voice in the shoulder going, you know, you can't do it. Whatever the self-doubt stuff is, you're liberating yourself away from that mentality, um, out of fear, out of concern. And just look, she's looking away from it. She's, she's really like, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not going to engage with that. I'm not connecting to it. It doesn't support me. It doesn't feed me. It doesn't inspire me. I'm not feeding my energy into it anymore. Oh, I feel a little frustrated there. And same with this energy. It's like, no, I'm going to hold myself close. I'm going to look over this way. I'm not going to engage in this, whatever this was, that this is a really shitty situation I kind of feel in here of disappointment and just not, maybe not having closure, but just needing to protect your own energy now and move forward and, and focus on your abundance and what you're doing. That's what you, that's where it's at. <clears throat> so in your goals and desires, I love this. And isn't this appropriate? Anyone's goals and desires would be in this energy, surely. We've got the Queen of Wands, the Three of Cups, Ten and Two of Cups. There's so much joy here. Your desire, your goal is to empower yourself, 
to step up into roles of leadership perhaps, to step deeper into your own spirituality and your healing, to share those messages of love, healing and growth, to just accept yourself deeper, to know yourself deeper, to play with yourself more, to, to connect, to dance, to express, to paint, to create all of this stuff to come back activated into life, that sort of energy, especially when we've come from a big tower moment, you know, and, and we're moving away from something, this is painful. You're wanting to, your life back, you're wanting your zest back, or you're wanting to step into your role, if that applies, you're, yeah. Gorgeous, powerful queen. And in that as well, you want beautiful, healthy, loving connections, equal exchanges of love, beautiful, harmonious joyful connections here we've got the ten of cups this is long term your long term fulfillment your it could be wrapped up in a desire to have an, a beautiful partner to share and make a family with that could be in your desires as well to attract that partner this 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 feminine here is all about alignment and attraction and her magnetics does draw in everything she wants she's a real creator really powerful um, and it's created through joy. It's created through connecting honestly uh, with yourself and with others. As this is your, your goals and desires. It's just to have more emotional fulfillment, joy and healthy, loving connections, to feel confident and, and uh, motivated. All of that wonderful stuff. You, you, you know what you want and it's, it's yeah, you're on your way. <laughs> Whether you like it or not with that um, tower and wheel of fortune. It may have been that you were stuck in something for quite some time and it as much as like it hard, it's hard to let go of and release what you know and the comfort of whatever that was. Um, there's a part of you as well that may know that you know you weren't truly living, you weren't you weren't truly um, stepping into your power. And, and yeah, there is. I think you, if you don't realize it yet, you will soon. That there's a lot of opportunity and that this has happened for you. Um, so what to let go of? We've got the Death card, Three of Swords. Hermit and strengths. I haven't gone through the um, astrological signs here, but we have got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, all the Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Libra is here. So anyway, back to the cards. Um, yeah, what are we letting go of? Oh, in your time, what I get with this combination here, you're processing and releasing a big heartache, a big, a big pain, potential betrayal, injustice, unfairness, just real, it's very excruciating. And then, and in that you're embracing your time alone to connect with yourself again, to connect with spirit, to face this face this heartache this pain to move through it to release that and see it as it actually as i was saying just before an opportunity for growth an opportunity to honor yourself deeper and step even further into more authentic connection with you and others and if people can't meet you there then you know it's it's having the courage to step away and, and pull your energy back from the places that are painful and just no longer investing or plugging into things that just don't serve you anymore it's really quite simple but very uh, and, and painful and, and, and deep at the same time. So yes, I feel as well that potentially releasing the perception that you will always be alone if that is something you struggle with, being alone um, and having to go through things quite isolated, having to deal with your pain alone, that may be something you need to release and understand that there, maybe you can possibly ask for help from your guides or attract and align with help if you pray for it uh, within your community or strangers kindness or um, the perfect guidance reading to pop up at the time you need it whatever it may be however it comes um, you don't need to go it alone you're not alone that may be something you need to process accept or explore as well um, that you don't have to suffer this by yourself uh, and the outcome of this energy of, 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 of if we decide to follow this guidance and um, just dedicate, pull, pull away the attention from the painful things and, and the worries, the fears, and dedicate to the what is real, what's here in front of you, and what you're growing. What, we, what will happen then? <laughs> We've got Justice, Queen of Swords, the Empress, and the Knight of Wands. This is empowered, empowered energy, right? We've got really strong, discerning, hard boundary energy here with Justice and the Queen of Swords. You will, I feel... Have, with all of this experience that's happened for you here, you are balancing that out with your 
I feel like it's a pretty deep reflection of what you deserve. Um, and it may be you that's, you know, brought about your own justice. Maybe you, your sharp boundaries and hard boundaries to protect yourself is what has balanced things out for you. But things will balance out and you will step deeper into um, healing here with this gorgeous Empress card. The Knight of Wands is that exactly this energy, but um, obviously a little younger with the Knight energy. But it's, it's, it's motivation, it's excitement, it's curiosity, it's thirst for life, it's feeling it's expressing, it's dancing, it's everything, right? It's creativity, it's all of that stuff. There will be a lot of, and like I want to say, endless abundance that comes in for you as you learn to continue to protect yourself and um, move through these more painful cycles without holding on to harsh perceptions or feelings of coldness or bitterness and just really letting all that go so that all of your energy can be focused on what's good what you deserve, what you want, not what you don't want or what, yeah, you know? All right. <laughs> so the Oracle cards do speak to that as well. We've got question your beliefs, questioning your beliefs and intention. And this is exactly it. You can choose to feed those fears and these beliefs that maybe you have to go it alone or do it yourself or you're never going to meet somebody who's going to be harmonious and kind and understanding of you or you're never going to be accepted into community or whatever it is. It's all these beliefs of fears and worries. Question those and set in line with your intentions instead of focusing on what you can't do or may not happen or may happen or all the fear stuff based thoughts and worries. Rather than any of that, trying, trying to release it so that you can, again, I've actually just noticed that again. It's a lot of people connecting to this. It is this, this crow on the shoulder that's hurting your head is maybe your own self-talk sometimes. And you're just, no, it's time to liberate out of that. It's time for me to rise. It's that sort of thing. And, and just aligning with your intent, focusing on your intentions and aligning with that. What it is you do want to create. And then it's kind of followed over here as well with love and presence. It's this sweet, simple message of kindness, sharing, receiving. I feel like you need, you need to receive um, and find ways to receive. Awareness, attention, reality and connection, presence, just a being here now energy, being okay with maybe being in novice space and starting again or a new journey. It's, it's being okay with trying new things and connecting back into love this is a very feeling feeling reading oh would i don't yeah I, I don't know but i don't think many people connecting this would be about workplace and stuff it does feel more to be about family and love relationships it kind of does feel like honoring yourself because uh by stepping away from connections or, or if that's a bit anyway well <laughs> you you fit it to suit your narrative here but yes, group one, I believe that is that is all I have for you here. We're moving into self-loving journey and a lot of prosperity uh, as you move through this and release this heartache and find the wisdom here with connecting to self. Okay, group one, I'll leave that there. I hope that reading gave some sort of clarity or comfort or guidance and I look forward to reading for you again soon. Bye. Hello beautiful group two, welcome to your reading if you chose this glass creation thing. My friend's son made this one, it's a little pendant and it's got like a bit of a swirl in the middle. So I don't know, it was just calling out, so that's group two. <laughs> okay. So this is what spirit wants you to know about whatever situation you may find yourself in at the moment, group two. And the underlying energy for this reading is actually the six of swords. Underneath that, I see the five of swords too. So underlying energy, look at this five and six of swords. You're in a bit of a progression right now of, of movement forward. And I feel like there might be a lack of answers or a lack of closure in this situation, but you're needing to move forward regardless. Um, that's the underlying energy. It's um, it's time to do something about it or it's time to um, make a decision maybe. So we're starting out with what are the first steps with moving forward? We've got the devil in reverse. I'll go through the signs. We've got Capricorn here. I see Leo, Virgo, uh, Scorpio, Leo again, Taurus, Libra, all here. But if that's not you, that's okay. It's all good. All right, so devil in reverse, three of cups and the seven of wands. This is where it's at. This is the steps in moving forward. So releasing attachments, maybe codependent relationships or toxic relationships, I feel for this 
for this group and, and maybe a situation or a toxic workplace or something, friendship, circle, family dynamic, could be anything. I just feel like it kind of reminds me this thing of the um, oracle card going round and round and it's where we, we find ourselves in the same pattern of cycle of repeating with a certain person or a certain situation. Just Maybe it's the same person, maybe it's a similar but it's just the same sort of pattern you may find yourself in except this time you have a choice to change that you have a choice to elevate yourself up out of that that situation whatever it is that's been holding you back or manipulating your energy your mind sort of controlling you in some way or another or you've given your power up to it potentially so releasing codependency to connections that are toxic or chemicals and substances that are toxic whatever it is that is you know, toxifying your system, your, your your emotional health, your mental health, your physical health, all of that. It's um, time to release those shackles with the de with the the devil um, reverse. And then we've got the three of cups and the seven of wands. So three of cups is a celebration. Perhaps you've already overcome this, and you need to celebrate how far you've come. <laughs> that could very well be it for some people. For other people. Um, it's you're still in the in the need to release yourself from this so that you can elevate and go far and find connections and that are celebrate you and so that you feel that you can just elevate to the next level of experience because whatever this is has been holding you back and I feel like um, I feel like you might not have come to a decision yet to to walk away from this completely um, hmm. But there's a need to reconnect with friends. Maybe it's that we've got family energy here with the mother, um, the, the maiden mother and crone, but it's also sisterhood and, and other um, like friends and other connections as well. Animals, pets, all that sort of stuff that help you feel connected in a joyful and unconditionally loving, supportive way. Um, and, re and removing yourself from those situations that challenge you or, you know, and make you feel like you don't have your own personal choice or power or anything like that. Like, remember that you've got the power of choice here. Um, so what may be holding you back at this time? A bit of confusion and indecision. Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So it's like you know, I feel like you know what you need to do. You know what's going to be the elevated choice, but you're still stuck in the decision because you feel like maybe there's not enough answers or there's not enough closure in this situation or you feel like there's something you're missing or um, there's still potential in the situation and you're just... Um, yeah, there's just too much uncertainty for you to fully release yet. I think that might be it. Um, but yeah, it may, the fact that you may be going back and forwards to your your truth and your maybe new lifestyle or new way of being or honouring yourself and then falling back into old patterns or old ways, that that may be happening for you where um, it's just, just still a matter of balancing it out and, and sticking them to it, sticking to the path. Um, to trying practical things to ground some of this inspiration that you've got um, because it comes through and it needs to be um, the inspiration is there the intuition is there you the guidance is there you're being told what to do for a while now but it's a matter of showing up every day and applying that wisdom to practical changes in the lifestyle or in the home or um, morning routine whatever it is little little practical things that you can do to ground this um, guidance that you've got coming in it may also be that you've got a lot of responsibilities and you're just yeah navigating different people or yeah different different you like old you and new you um just needing some grounding and less um uh, yeah <laughs> less less um what do i want to say less thinking maybe less trying but more just practicality and, and grounding so some guidance with moving forward we've got the justice card and this may be you needing to deliver some justice on a situation and balance the scales out to call the truth um, to stand up for yourself maybe uh, it could also be a legal matter that you need assistance with too that could be the case here where you're needing to make that decision to go and seek that that help or that advocate or whatever it is you need in that regard but for a lot of people I feel like you are your own advocate here and you are um, you are this justice card We've got the Four of Pentacles, protecting your energy, grounding your energy, applying um, applying your truth. You know, maybe it's a newfound truth. Maybe it's a 
you've woken up again on that truth. Uh, you know, I do see a, sort of you may have been here before, but now you can make that choice to follow through on your truth uh, and, and step into this role of nurturing yourself and your energy. I mean, you may be a mother here and have a lot of other people to nurture too. So you're needing to really have a full cup and to look after yourself so that you can be of service and show up at your at your table of your work or whatever it is that you dedicate and devote yourself to day in day out week in week out maybe it's trying new things and so maybe you need a fresh clear table to to show up to try completely different things you've never done before to connect with yourself or your craft or your art or your ways of expressing your self mastery trying new things in that regard this is really a lot of devotion and focus on the feminine healing energy here um, yeah it's like sort of like shutting it down uh any external stuff shutting it down so that you can really invest in you and, and really ground some of this uh wisdom that you've got into practical methods and and um yeah i feel yeah there's this 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 is a such a message here of like finding um Finding new and beautiful ways to love yourself deeper. Finding new and beautiful ways to connect with you and play with yourself deeper through art and dance and whatever it may be. Trying new things, nourishing your body, good food, not being distracted by anything that's um, not serving you, not that's not benefiting you, that's really focusing on your own path, your own journey and being devoted, being dedicated, showing up every day, doing it, <laughs> doing it. It's time to do it. Uh, righty, so in goals and desires, I feel like your goals and desires does not feel like this anymore. Four of Cups. Stop focusing. Well, the goal is to stop focusing on the past and let it be that and something that you can accept and maybe forgive, um, or the other way around, however you do it. <laughs> but um, yeah. It's uh, your your goal is to release yourself to have to be done with this. I think is is it actually for some people, and to come to this epiphany, this realization that liberates you out of this this heaviness. Where are we here? So she's this is on the table. She is looking towards the past as she sits on the table too. So and if she, the minute she's done looking at the the past and she's really finished with that and just no more. She turns and sees this beautiful potion and that potion is the, um, the judgment card. It is leaving behind this density, this heaviness so that you can really liberate and step deeper onto your own path, become more of a powerful creator in your own world, your own reality. Um, I feel like you may be waiting for divine intervention for some people here or something to just come and give you that final approval or permission to, to take that step or the answer you need to set yourself free it's like it's yeah there's something like you're waiting for maybe but it, it comes from you it will come from your divine realization that only you can lift yourself up here strength oh we've got strength and the two of wands as well so the goals and desires is yeah to not feel like this anymore to liberate self to find strength and courage to move forward and choose a new path maybe it's to 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 leave the job you don't you're not feeling fulfilled in and go step out maybe you're worried that you've have I got what it takes but staying where you are is not working for you um and so yeah the desire is to have that that calling that courage that push maybe you're waiting for the stars to align but for whatever it is to give you that oomph to go allow this reading to be that message if that's what you are waiting for then let this reading be the permission you need to step into your courage follow your heart and and follow your dreams and make those plans for the future because this old path is you're such crossroads energy old new old new what do i do <laughs> oh, and yeah she's she holds on to this wand looking to the future with excitement and all these plans and goals but keeping it open as well no expectation there but just uh, hopes and dreams so what can we let go of we've got the seven of swords nine of cups five of wands so this is interesting this could be your need to strategize or deceive or have fight for your own wish fulfillment uh, it, there could be your energy where you're needing to really work quite hard just to get you know 
something for you or what you wish for because maybe it's a lot of other people's needs or expectations or opinions of what your desires are that may hold you back there. This all could also be um, other people, confrontation and just deceptive energy and all of that sort of connection that you holds you back from your wish fulfillment. I feel like maybe when you try to go for um, what it is that you want, liberation, empowerment, there may be a person around you or a family or a group or something that tries to hold you back down. Um, we're not taking that personally anymore. We're just going to rise up. <laughs> so what to let go of? Conflict, conflicting people, arguments, argumentative people, chaotic energy, everyone else's opinion. <laughs> Bye strategizing feeling like you've really got to like manipulate or move or shift to get what you want or other people's manipulative behavior to get what they want from you bye <laughs> wish fulfillment here let's um i want to yeah okay i just want another card we've got the eight of wands i'm like what is it going to take for your wish fulfillment what's it going to take <laughs> all this high velocity energy streamlined to what you want actually that was what it was yeah when um when i was pulling the cards when i saw this card it was some of you need to write a pros and cons list um to help you with moving forward so that you can stay accountable with the situation uh, that's for some people really weighing up the pros and cons of this situation so that you don't maybe repeat that cycle um that anyway back to here that was for some people Maybe everyone, but yeah, high velocity energy towards what you want, movement forward, making it happen, having conversations about your wish fulfillment, talking it, speaking it into existence, speaking it to yourself, speaking it to a friend, speaking it to a tree. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a, it, yeah. And I feel like maybe mm, some of your wish fulfillment, obviously I can see there has been wrapped up in whatever that situation was that you're contemplating liberating yourself from. So there's a need for openness there too, a release so that new inspiration can come in and um, releasing or sacrificing the uh, old vision, the old dream can be so hard when we're entering a void of not knowing what's next. But um, Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck is uh, there to tell you that what's next will be a lot smoother, a lot calmer, a, um, a lot lighter in energy. The outcome for this it's pretty big it's a huge it's a huge thing here we've got the nine of swords first and foremost so there will be a lot of fears wrapped up in this there's a lot of fear wrapped up in this situation for you doubts and worries about how it will work out or should i shouldn't i all that stuff what yeah what if this what if that the sun card the knight of swords the tower and the death card big big stuff so the outcome is as much as it will scare you or be very fearful for you it's your your advice is to to go for it to to make these steps towards your joy towards your fulfillment and towards shedding light on your own on your own pains and talking to someone maybe getting getting assistance and help somebody to help you see the purpose and the truth in in what's going on so that you don't override um your own thoughts with just negativity and bringing yourself down into worry and fear like you're needing a lot of liberation you're needing a lot of encouragement and support maybe that's from friends or mostly I want to say it's from you it's a shift in narrative it's all of that stuff it's trying new things getting out in the sun cleansing yourself with the sun connecting back into nature connecting into your childlike spirit as well oh my god I didn't know this card was here it was stuck and I'm like what is that and then as I say childlike spirit it's the six of cups it's the six of cups reconnect with family that may be it for some people too unless it's a fa toxic family situation you're moving yourself from but just there's some things about maybe for some it's family maybe it's something about your childhood maybe it's something that was joyful to you as a child but recon this childlike spirit is needed you're needing play you're needing lightness and it is coming in for you uh, maybe after this experience, maybe after you've made the decision to release yourself, to liberate yourself, to maybe just destroy whatever this is. It's a, maybe it's a mindset, maybe it's a relationship, whatever it is, to truly just obliterate it once and for all. Uh, and so that you can experience your rebirth, so you can shed that skin and move through that portal into what's next, into more harmonious connection potentially. This could be reunion energy. Um, 
uh, mostly I want to say this is your childlike energy. It's it's play. It's finding the joy. It's grounding that joy down into the earth by by little subtle lifestyle shifts and narrative shifts. The oracle cards for this reading are I am balance and rose petals. <clears throat> rose petals do talk about the energy clearing, the way clearing after a period of um, strain or stress or fear. Where's my book? I am balance. I wanted to read from the book for that one. I am balanced. Negative thoughts and self-criticism are diminishing your sense of worth. And as such, you do not see the beautiful and unique qualities you possess. At the core of your being, you, are, you hold endless love and creative possibility. Love and creative, creativity are your true nature. Like that childlike card there. The things that you, you don't like about yourself, believe to be bad or are ashamed of, are as good and valuable as the things that you do like about yourself Everything in our world consists of complementary opposites, yin and yang, or positive and negative charges, are a necessary part of life and exist in everyone and everything. Without this, nothing in our world would exist. In rejecting the aspects of yourself, you are in a way rejecting the whole nature of existence. It's only through embracing and loving yourself totally that the balance can be restored. You do not need to improve in order to be successful and happy. You just need to change your perception you have of yourself. Love and accept yourself as you are and your life will automatically transform. You don't need to change who you are. You just need to love yourself. And it's so big and it's in those grounded little practical things that you can do, ways of showing up for yourself. It's just in the little things. It really is. And that's again trickled into this. We got action and then grounding. And I just thought, wow, that's some real ch um, base chakra energy, right? Root chakra. And then the base card came out. So bang, <laughs> you're working from the ground up. And a lot of people on their spiritual journey, on their healing journey, they will want to try and connect with those higher chakras, the crown to all that is, their intuition, the third eye, all of that. They want to they wanna see and perceive and know. Um, and uh, the, the, the best way to know how is to bring about that beautiful balance and, and ground down, starting with the base chakras. It may seem more physical and earthly, um, but it's just as spiritual as working on the third eye because it, it helps us bring that inspiration down through our whole system into the practical thing that we're doing. Um, action, movement, perseverance, discipline and motivation. Interesting this one. This could be discipline for um, lifestyle change and releasing maybe addictions or patterns that are just not healthy anymore and not feeding your best life um, but rather needing a bit of discipline and motivation to, to make that movement maybe it's getting to the track and, and going for a walk to clear your energy or maybe it's showing up at the dance um, speaker <laughs> to have a dance to clear yourself there's so many wonderful things that you can do um, that are actually very very spiritual and bring in a lot of intuition but are very grounded and simple grounding nature presence practicality and stability I feel like a really like maybe a routine overhaul or just like a self-love um, routine or ritual. There's, oh, like, there's so many ideas of things you can do um, to show up for yourself and to be more present in everyday simple things with this root chakra energy, feeling, feeling connected to what you do, putting roots down into the earth. Um, yes. Connecting more with nature. I feel like dancing is a really empowered um, thing to do for a lot of people connecting to this group. So I think that's what I have for you, group two. I forgot for a second there. We'll leave it there for you guys. It's a bit of a journey that we're, you're going on, but you're being guided to just be here now, ground yourself down into this, to what's in front of you and to look after yourself with a bit of maybe a shift in routine. Maybe adding some some because um, self self love. I'm sure we've read this before. It's not all about bubble baths and sweet smelling candles and and bliss. It's also about the harder choices of cutting out sugar and the things that we really crave and want to go run to for comfort or whatever it is. It's sometimes it's about having the discipline to say, you know what, I'm gonna you know make that healthy choice because because I love myself <laughs> and I don't want to feel crappy anymore or whatever it is, whatever it is. All right, group two, I'll leave it there. Like I said, I hope that gave some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance and I look forward to reading for you all again soon.
Bye. Hey, group three, and welcome to your reading if you chose the citrine raw crystal. And this one is for you. Crystal of abundance. Okay. So this reading is what spirit wants you to hear about whatever situation you may find yourself in. So starting out with the next steps forward. We have the Nine of Swords, really intense energy here. The Ace of Swords and the Chariot. This is actually really interesting because the bottom deck energy is judgment. So this is a pivotal moment in your life where you may be realizing some really big truths about your destiny or yourself um, that help you make a decision in moving forward. Um, this is really divine awakening energy. You may be going through another level of awakening on your journey at this time, big realizations and feeling a calling to, to step up in one way or another. So we have the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords with the Chariot. The energy, um, astrological energy in this reading, we've got Cancer here, Aquarius, uh, um, Libra and Scorpio. So not too many. Water and uh, air is here a little bit, but yeah. So back into your cards, you've got a bit of anxiety and where you find yourself at the moment. And I feel like you're trying to go through a lot of different thoughts right now, like filtering through all of your thoughts about the situation and things you want to say or things that have been said. Um, and trying to make sense of it all, trying to gain clarity or answers that help you move forward to give you the confidence to make a decision to there's um, something here about a lack of confidence or a, a overwhelming fears or worries that hold you back from making a choice or having the clarity on the situation that you desire but the clarity is coming in you may have been feeling like you've been in the dark on this situation for a while or there's just um it's been a lot of challenges along the way for you i almost want another card i haven't done this for the other groups today but i I almost want another card, actually. Anything on the Nine of Swords. I feel like you're trying to gain perspective on a situation here. You kind of gain perspective on, like, how has this situation served you? Like, what's the purpose behind this? Uh, because it's this, I feel like it's a situation that's had a, a lot of duality involved, like a, a lot of brilliant, great times and really painful, hard to navigate challenges too. Clarifying energy, it's like, it's, yeah, that's what the, I was feeling as I pulled these cards too with that Nine of Swords. The fears could be that this feels like it's out of your control and it feels like maybe the decision wasn't yours, whatever this is that's caused you to really question your direction. Um, but it's happened for you at the same time too it's so that you can grow so that you can step into your own into your own power into your own abundance and create more abundance for yourself yeah magician i saw the moon there so you're navigating a lot of fears a lot of illusion um finding the truth of a situation after maybe a lot of deception or secrecy maybe the magician and the seven of pentacles here on the split as well so you're navigating a lot of changes that are wrapped up in your emotions and your dreams um but yeah finding your power to um uh, to what do we say to embrace this new opportunity um even if it doesn't feel like an opportunity but it's so that you can grow and i feel like you know that i feel like yeah i feel like you do know that but um even if it's challenging to navigate whatever it is you it helps you grow. So what's holding you back? Queen of Swords in reverse, Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords. So you, this could be harsh self-talk or um, bitterness or coldness or anything like that. That may hold you back. It could be um, bitterness towards a person of the past, connections that haven't worked out, family members that are not compassionate. It can be all of those sorts of energies. It could be someone external to you that is very cold-hearted too, that holds you back, that sort of um maybe gets in the way of your feelings of self-worth or things like that um four of pentacles three of swords maybe overprotective of yourself because of the fear of being hurt because of so many letdowns in the past maybe you protect yourself a little bit too 
too much. That could be the case here too. Maybe you isolate yourself a bit too much as well. Um, there's definitely a lot of, um, like you keep your pain to yourself quite a bit, actually. I feel like you put on a bit of a strong face for the people around you potentially. Uh, but you're, yeah, holding, you know, protect, doing it alone, doing it by yourself and not sharing your pain or like allowing for people to help you or friends to help you may be what holds you back. I actually want another card on this one too. Wow. Group three. You're my challenging group today. I see the eight of pentacles here. I felt it sort of do a thing. One please. And four. Oh, what do we got? The moon. Okay, yes. Okay, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Lots of fears about being betrayed, being hurt. Um, not being respected or loved or things that have been pulled from you before you were ready. All of that sort of energy is tied up here. Disappointment, basically. D disappointment, depression, really deep feelings, really painful feelings. Um, maybe sitting in those feelings for too long and, and being really harsh towards yourself or, or towards um, the, another person involved or all of that heavy, heavy energy and holding on to it. Um, is holding you back is that that's what is here so there's a real re need to release that so the guidance on releasing that is all big release energy in that way first of all the ten of cups I love that we've got a beautiful fresh reminder that you your um, you can have emotional fulfillment you can have happiness you can have connections that are going to be supportive towards you, you can have them um, believe it if you're worried about that if you're worried you have to go it alone because people are never going to understand you or things like that um, believe it so the cards uh, for guidance here eight of cups ten of wands six of swords all of this is walking away energy the thing about <coughs> the eight of cups i'm drawn to this time around is <coughs> there may be something to about this situation that gives you hope still um, or like something about it that fires you up still I don't want to say this properly um, and as much as it may be a, a trigger or something that's like a real uh, temptation to engage or temptation to pull you back or whatever it is continue to walk away and release even if you want to engage re-engage with whatever that is um, yeah putting down the heavy burden putting down other people's burdens putting down being over over responsible and meeting everyone else's needs too much that could be it for some people here too there's there's some of you out there maybe doing things for people that they can do for themselves um that's a clear message it's yeah maybe a time to draw a boundary there for someone and to speak your truth on the matter so that you can you know lighten your own load so that you because you don't have to engage in things that drag you down you don't have to um, it's about giving yourself permission, I feel, and but without being too cold or, or bitter about that decision either, or um, hard on yourself for wanting to protect yourself and have like caring, respectable boundaries. You know, so, oh, interesting reading. I want to hear back from the people of this reading. Um, where are we? Yeah, we move, guidance in moving forward is to release the heaviness, to move forward, to try new things that help you engage in what is going to be fulfilling and happy for you, joyful things, long-term happiness too. So no instant gratifications or comfort zones for you at this time. It's time to release that stuff so that you can go after the bigger happiness here. So whatever that means for you, um, maybe reconnection with family or friends. Or just finding those things you haven't done in a while, those simple little things that bring you joy, that all add up to, you know, um, maybe it's tweaking your morning routine just to add one mindful practice that will, the intention is to bring yourself more emotional fulfillment, whatever it is. It can be so small and simple. It's just a matter of taking that step um, towards that and away from what isn't emotionally serving, what is draining from you. It's just unplug from just one of those things and plug that into a new thing you've added to your routine, whatever it is. Just one at a time. Um, maybe a whole bunch at a time. All right, so goals and desires. All righty, righty, righty. So goals and desires, eight of wands. Eight of wands. 
justice and death. So this could be for some people a court case or a legal matter that you would like finalised. That's your, your wish fulfilment is to finish with that and have justice delivered. That could be the case for some people. For other people, you are being your own justice here to bring about transformation in your life. Um, this is in your goals and desires. So yeah ready to re to recreate your life maybe recreate your routine um finding those things that really activate your imagination and your inspiration for creativity um meditation connection to spirit movement um physical exercise uh rebirth like reinventing reinvigorating sprucing up refreshment renovation whatever it is you want to i think to feel it i feel a real transformative purifying energy here that's high velocity high action and a lot of movement in in one particular direction that feeds the um the sacral your creativity and your expression standing i think as well delivering your truth on something here you've got a message maybe for somebody or, so, or to yourself even that delivers a truth that says no more or maybe it helps liberate you and shed an old skin and step into a new rebirth maybe the truth is to yourself but you've got a truth to deliver here i feel um some some authenticity to share some uh maybe scales to balance all right what to let go of five of pentacles king of cups five of wands this could be an external person to you this king of cups um it could be somebody who's a little emotionally mature, mature immature with the cards around it it's kind of does can talk to that sort of manipulative energy emotional manipulation stuff like that that won't be for everybody of course um what are we letting go of potential connection to a masculine energy that leaves you feeling that you are not enough or that you know is not fulfilling to you maybe there's lots of conflict and arguments that could be the case here what you need to leave behind maybe it's healing and forgiveness that's needed in this in this connection maybe you're needing to put down the sword and put down the dramas and the fights and and reconnect that could be it too but like really same as last group three i think it was very like i got to the end of the reading and was just not sure <laughs> like you will know it's your truth here you're needing to make a choice i think here yeah. you're yeah engage with your own truth but anyway i want to not read this as a relationship reading because you know i want to keep it pretty open this could be so many things um it, this could be mindset mindset things as well where you're feeling like you don't have enough to offer love or to offer um, maybe you're not filling your own cup so that you can't stand like show up in a compassionate way for others because you're not giving that to yourself that could be the case here as well where you're needing to put yourself first um, there could be financial restraints here with the five of pentacles too that you're needing to shift a mindset on um, and maybe make a new plan towards um, finding a bit more stability in that sense um, yes or it could also be um i'm getting actually a little bit of a scarcity mindset for some people so maybe it's that you have been in a bad financial situation in the past things are a bit more stable now potentially but you still may hold on to some of those perceptions of lack or that it'll run out or anything like that but yeah that's not for everybody what's holding you back is maybe conflict with people that tug on your emotions or yeah cause you to really invest a bit too much of your energy uh, but leave you feeling like you have received nothing or there's just too much chaos conflict or um, not seeing eye to eye maybe like diff different different um, what do I want to say different values maybe can I have a confirmation card again group three what do I want to know okay i see the two of pentacles and the four of swords here we are yeah you, we are healing from something we are like leaving a behind an old belief i think mm. yeah more liberation energy and choosing joy unplugging from what is you don't want unplugging from that and plugging back into what you do want we've got um three of cups seven of wands moon Mm. there's there's a lot of fear a lot of your i think a lot of what holds you back here is fear because of past experiences maybe 
but we're needing some really supportive narratives towards self at this time. We're needing, you're needing to be your best friend and really encourage yourself quite a lot. Sometimes when I need a little encouragement, I'll go to YouTube, pick a card reading for exactly that. Not rather looking at the external situation, but what do I need to know about me? What's going to help me move through this? And it will often be a, the message you need to remember who the heck you are and what power you've got, you know, what you can do to create the change you want to have wants. Right. Outcome. Outcome. Beautiful outcome. Knight of Pentacles. Grounded, practical energy. Methodical. It's got a plan, it's showing up, it's taken one step at a time towards your divine wishes, towards wish fulfillment. You are at cause here. It's your choice. And a new dawn is upon you. The tower is here as well. It's almost like for some of you that have been through this tower moment already and you're just you're on the other end of, of processing all of that, it's like you've come to this great realization that it did happen for you in the greatest way. And now you're wishing and hoping and, and aligning with um, your own destiny and making being at cause. Uh, for other people, that realization is yet to come, I would say, with whatever here you've needed to blow up. This could be an anything, by the way. It doesn't have to be like um, a, losing a job or a relationship. It can also be mindset issues and, and uh, anxiety and things like that, Temp old templates you've been running off of. Um, fears and just blowing that up so that you can actually allow yourself to believe that with dedication and showing up and devotion to you your path your healing whatever it is you want to achieve with that ded dedication and practical grounded approach you can have your wish fulfillment you will align with that it's it's believing that totally Chakra cards we have for this reading are truth, transparency, sincerity and communication with throat chakra. <laughs> it's really interesting. You both got um, both cards with throat chakra. So this is a truth to yourself. Queen of Swords reverse is a bit mixed for, and I feel like everyone will relate to that differently where it could be an external person you're dealing with you need to deliver your truth to or it's your own truth or maybe it's a, being a bit too harsh with your words to someone else or to yourself but softening that truth and coming from a place of sincerity and compassion but communicating clearly about your needs as well. Having healthy boundaries and just speaking up for yourself, right? It could be to someone else or to yourself. The other two oracle cards are New Beginning and Rose Petals, and both of these cards are New Beginning energies. This one talks about clarity coming in after perhaps a period of um, confusion. We'll go actually to the book for that one, feel it. And the other one, New Beginning, speaks for itself. It is a new beginning. The Rose Petals, yes. The path is beginning to clear and all obstacles will soon vanish. Your time of waiting is over and you move forward with confidence and renewed clarity. The blocks and challenges you faced in recent months were essential to your ultimate success and you know it. Sometimes it's best to wait and sometimes the universe acts on our behalf. For just as nature as has her seasons, we too have our seasons. We must respect life's ebbs and flows. There is a time to move and a time to be still, and now is your time. Your dreams come to fruition. Hey. <laughs> your dreams come to fruition. And now I lost it completely. <laughs> Wrong page. And it feels like rose petals fall down from heaven. Enjoy the journey. Rose petals fall down from heaven, right? <laughs> Wish fulfillment, right? Yes, yes. These obstacles, these challenges, whatever has not worked and had to re, um, you know, go back to the drawing board or whatever, reinvent. It's all been part of this journey, part of this learning. But like each each thing you leave behind here, it's a different achievement as you continue to move on that path. So yes, group three, growth and abundance for you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that gave some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance for you and I look forward to reading for you all again soon. Bye group three.